manual entry data in Power BI reports is quite common. It comes in the shapes of sales budgets, marketing budgets, product categories, you name it. But more often than not, I find myself having asking to business to give me data that is not stored in the central databases. And the issue afterwards, like, how do we manage that? How do we validate the data? How do we make sure that it's stored so we can, you know, it doesn't break our reports and also we can keep that data for the future? So I have actually partnered with a company that has solved this exact problem and is doing it beautifully. The name is SQL Spreads and I'm going to show you how it works in this video. SQL Spreads, it comes in the form of an add-in in Excel that allows you to manage the data that you have in your SQL Server. So it's not just for manual entry data, you can actually use it to maintain the database. Like instead of having to go to SQL management tools and all other secure tools, you can do it from Excel. You can try SQL spreads for free for one month to see if it works for you. And if you are happy with that, I have actually a 5% discount for you for the period that you buy. So if you buy for a month, you get 5% for a month. If you buy for a year, you get for a year or lifetime, you get for a lifetime. So the bigger you buy, the bigger the discount basically. So let me show you how this product works. If you go to more and documentation, they have actually done a great job explaining how to install and the basic features. So you just go there and download and install, connect to SQL Server, and then you can start working. So the download process, I won't show it here because it's too easy. I will put a link to this documentation down below too. There are two modes in SQL Spreads. You have designer mode and editor mode. So designer mode is where you have access to everything and you can configure the Excel file the way you want it. You can hide columns, you can yeah, don't do a ton of stuff to make sure that the template looks the way you want it. The edit mode, mode is the one that you will give to the users to enter the data or to change the data. So I'm going to show you here from the designer mode. You can obviously give designer to your users if you trust them. So it's up to you what license you get. So if you click here on open designer, I have already connected to SQL. Uh, to, actually, this is an SQL in Azure. So here is where I have the connection. You connect the same way you would connect with uh, SQL management tools, you know? So there's no difference in there. And once you have connected, you can start working. So for example, let's uh, import into Excel the category table for the Northwind dataset. So go to category ID. And here we have the table. Now, if you think that this table is perfect as it is, you can just turn off designer mode, turn on the editor mode, and then have your users enter data. So let's say that we're going to add to Northwind a vegan category for our products. So we go here, ID 9, this is going to be vegan, and then this is going to be vegan foods, right? So once you have added the data, you just go save to database, save changes, and that's it. Let me show you. So if I go here to, I need probably to refresh it. You see here that I have my vegan category. It's a lot easier to maintain the data here and you can actually push it back to the business to do the maintenance, maintenance for you. So we go back to Excel and what happens if we just want to have a sales budget for Northwind because it doesn't exist. So you will be able to very soon create new tables that will be imported in SQL Server. So this is the way it works. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a table. We're going to do year, we're going to do month, we're going to do category ID, and then we're going to do budget. And you're probably saying like, ooh, category ID is probably not the best. It's a good thing for the database, but it's not so good for the user. But there's ways, there's ways to fix that, I'll show you. So 2020, you need to have at least one row of data and it also helps SQL spread understand what data type you should have so you don't have to do it yourself. You can then delete it, so it's no problem. Category ID one, budget, I don't know, 2000 euros. Once you have these, you just convert it to a table with headers. And once you have that, you go to SQL spreads, SQL server tools, turn it on, and then this is 
your budget but for sales be explicit we are going to have an id perfect and now we're going to go back to management studio to see if it was created gorgeous so we're going to back to excel in here and i'm actually going to substitute these with the proper table, the one that just created because it contains the ID. Now, there are two things here. The first one is category ID. You don't want to have category ID, you actually want to have for the user category name, but you probably want the category ID to get stored into the data set. So this is how you do. You go to columns, make the designer a little bit bigger, and then do you see this icon? You click on it, and here you're going to do for the category column, go to the category table on Northwind, grab the category ID, and then instead return the category name, and you see what it does, it's brilliant. You see what it did? It replaced the ID with the name. So when we will go in here and add a new row, yes, yeah, sorry, you're going to do that by yourself. So we do 2023, actually, 2023, Two, and here it shows a drop down now. It's just brilliant. So you go there, 100, for example. And then to save, you just do save to database. Save the changes, yes. And the last thing is like, oh, it says category ID. They're like, mm. well, you can actually go in here and change the name to category name so to have business names to the columns, but when you save to the database, it says nothing changes because nothing changes in the data set. Let me show you. I'm going to create a new line that is going to be beverages, and then let's up the budget a little bit, save to the database. Okay, and now go to management studio, execute, and here we have it. As you can see, it still says category ID. It brings the category ID, not the category name. Brilliant. It's just very, very, very good. So to wrap this up, I want to show you there are here some other solutions for um, created by SQL spreads to, for example, have saving history of pricing. There is one for financial forecasting for businesses. And this includes also the database. So you get the database and the SQL spread Excel file. So you can play with it, you know, in the month that you have for trial, if you don't have a specific use case just then. So you can tr test it there. So this is all, folks. I hope you really enjoyed this product. I think it's very well done and it works actually very, very well. So down below, you will have the link to SQL spreads. You will have a discount code that will give you a discount for the period that you buy. So if you buy per month, for a month, or for a year, for a year. So if you try it, let me know how it's working for you. Here are some of the companies that is working with SQL spreads, including Microsoft. How cool is that? Okay, I will see you again on the next video. If you try it, let me know how it works, and I will see you again in the next one.